Hi everyone, today let's make something special. If you don't know what that is, it's Vietnamese beef jerky. It's important that you identify the grain of the beef. We need to cut the beef across the grain. I'm using 500 grams of beef for this recipe. Try to slide the beef thinly but into large pieces. You can place the beef into the freezer 45 minutes before cutting, then it will be easier to cut. To marinate 500 grams of beef, we will need the following spices. 3 tablespoon minced lemongrass 2 tablespoon minced garlic 2 tablespoon sugar 1 teaspoon salt some pepper 1 tablespoon of fine spice powder and 1 tablespoon turmeric powder and 1 tablespoon hot chili flake We mix all the spices together If you can't find fine spice powder and turmeric powder you can use curry powder instead Then add 2 teaspoons of cooking oil or oyster sauce to help the spices combine well. After that, we're gonna rub the spices on both sides of each beef slice. Repeat for all the slices. Cover with plastic wrap and marinate in the fridge for at least 5 hours or better overnight. Now preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 395 Fahrenheit. Spread the beef thoroughly and place them on a tray. If you have a cooling rack, then place the rack in between the tray and the beef, then the beef can get dried easier. It's okay to put them close to each other because they're gonna shrink later. Try to stretch them as much as possible because um, we want them to get dry faster. Into the oven on the highest level closer to the heat for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna turn the beef over. There will be some juice coming out of the beef. The thinlier you slide, the more juice you will see. Try to get rid of the juice. Well, I really wish I have a cooling rack, but I don't, so I have to do like this. But that's okay, maybe I'm gonna turn over one more time later. Okay, so into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. Some thin slices should be done by now. For the thick slices, maybe we will turn over and grill for another 5 minutes. The time may vary a bit depending on how thin you slide the beef and how you want your beef jerky to be. If you want your beef jerky to be crispy and really dry, then slide really thinly. If you want some moisture in the beef jerky, then slide a little thicker. But the more important thing is that you set your timer and check on the beef and take out when it reaches your desired standard. 
This beef jerky is a favorite snack for many students in Vietnam and also favorite side dish for many gentlemen while drinking beer. Mmm, it's chewy and spicy. Can someone get me a beer please? But sparrow, sparrow, so enjoy your homemade beef go. jerky. Thank you Zelda for watching girl, and bye bye. I really miss her so. Cause my girl, she's got no love for me. And in the end, there'll be two lonely ones. And my girl, I got no luck for her. And before much longer.